It's Admiral's All-A-Mode Refrigerator. It makes ice cream, sherbet, frozen yogurt, and more. Furnished by Admiral, this wonderful refrigerator is normally priced at $1,299. But it can be yours today for just $14 on sale of the century. This is sale of the century. Watch while Jim Perry tries to taste one of the props. And it's real. <laughs> and it's shaving cream. century let's quickly introduce uh, the guy who's going to pay the bill for the lights and then we'll get the out of here uh, uh, hey are, are you a game show fan are you kidding they don't call me ed come on down mcmahon for nothing why do you ask <laughs> because that it is that time once again time for the golden blooper award and tonight as you know we have a golden blooper first for the first time ever we're giving it to an entire television game show mm -hmm. tonight's recipient of the golden blooper award is the very popular game show scrabble and here to accept it on behalf of Scrabble is Chuck Woolery, the host. Hey! <laughs> hey, Chuck. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Congratulations. Welcome, welcome. Now, do you have anything to say before we show why yeah. your show is this dubious winner? <laughs> yes. All yes, right. I do. Uh, if you don't show these, uh, could I interest you in a microwave oven? <laughs> wash your dryer? <laughs> A couple of weeks in El Segundo. No, 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 no chance. No. Ladies and gentlemen, the award-winning bloopers of Mr. Chuck Woolery and Scrabble. Every newborn baby has one. Any idea? Yes. You do? Birthday. That's exactly right. Right on the money. You've got it. Birthday. I don't have to say all that stuff about... However, I'm going to say, the remaining tiles that they have, or the remaining letters are controlled by the, uh, the tiles. Oh, never mind. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> How you doing, Aaron? Great, Chuck. How you doing? I'm great. Thanks. Yeah. Did you get what you wanted for Christmas? Uh, no. Considering I'm Jewish. Oh. Did you get what you wanted for... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got it. I was ready to just skim over that, but I got to get the... Uh, that was good. That was good, Jason Aaron. Yeah. Well, what'd you get for Annika? Nothing yet. It's not that time of the year yet, Chuck. Oh, good. Well... <laughs> Here's what you usually right, don't want to say on television. We're going to continue with today's game. Uh, recap the scores or recap them, actually. <laughs> All right, Ron's going to come down. He's got uh, two wins under his belt. He gets to add another thousand dollars to his total winnings, and he's going to get to play Scrabble Sprint. That's okay, right? You just the all right. What? <laughs> <laughs> all righty, we're back. I want to remind you: next week we'll be playing a tournament of champions. We're bringing back twenty of our biggest winners, and they will be competing for fabulous, ca fabulous Jack. Uh... <laughs> They'll be playing for a lot of money, folks. <laughs> uh, a P and a P. Oh, I think I'll have to take a P. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're back. Uh, here, here, here. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Jennifer, uh, you related to a boxer of some repute? It says you're related to a boxer here. Um, well... What happened was my sister went back into our record books. My grandma has a record book. And I'm not sure how famous he is, because a lot of people probably haven't heard of him, but he's a boxer. His name's Jack Dempsey. I, he's dead now, but he is famous. Jack Dempsey. Yeah. Um, he's There's a, a restaurant named after Jack Dempsey in New York. That's probably after my boxer uncle. I don't know how he's related to me, but he's related to me. There's some people out there just... Jack Dempsey is probably the most famous boxer, excluding Joe Lewis, in the entire world. Hey, what can I say? He's related to me, huh? Don't show me your right cross. <laughs> now, all these contestants have to do is spell the word mosquitoes. 
Okay, fill them in. You. No, that's incorrect. I'm sorry. Fill the blanks in order or pick a tile, Chris, whatever you want um, to do. Like okay, fill them in. I. No, sir, that's incorrect. Okay, Vaughn, you want to continue with this or uh, what? I'll take one tile, please. Okay. <laughs> S and an I, which do you want to try? S, please. They love to fly over nudist camps. Fill them in. A. Wrong. I've never had this happen. It's the first time. Chris? I know it. You know it? All right. Fill it in. Oh. Yes. I. Yes. T. Yes. E. Yes. So. Oh. 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 I'm going home. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, we got you, pal. All right, now the moment we've all been waiting for. May we please have the girl with the Golden Bloopers Award. Award. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Linda Wiesmeyer. Hi, Linda. Yeah. Is this my award? Chuck, on behalf of everyone here, we would like to present you with this coveted award. Oh. There you go. Oh, speech, speech, Chuck. Speech, speech. 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 Come on, speech. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, there's the award. That's covered. That's covered. This is just an award. I... Well, I, I, Dick, Ed, both of you, I'd like to thank you very much on behalf of Scrabble for presenting me this award. And, uh... Well, that's not all. You also get the keys to a car. Hey, there you oh, go. That's great. <laughs> this is the car you came in. <laughs> thank you, Chuck. I don't have any trouble at all. Memory for names, infallible. No problem. Dick, your memory's not quite what you think it is. <laughs> no? Are you forgetting that moment with Vicki Lawrence? <laughs> when did you see this? Before the day is over, Carol and Eddie, where is the Mystery 7? Under which one? It's Vicki, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Out. You just you wish it was Carol. No. Uh, don't pick on me. I'm very sorry. It's all right, Which one we did? The last one. <laughs> what do you have to say Ooh. now, Mr. Memory? I don't remember a thing. It's all a blank. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. <laughs> she's gone. There she Kathy, is. you're going home in Isuzu's European-inspired Impulse XS with three standard features, including... As you know, that uh, classic game show, Let's Make a Deal, is back on the air in a brand new version. I always loved that show. Monty Hall was the king of the deal makers for years. Well, they got a new host these days, Bob Hilton. And uh, Bob has learned very quickly that uh, Let's Make a Deal is the kind of a show where uh, just about anything can happen. <laughs> Watch. Let's out in a minute. I'll find your last name. And, uh, well, Karen, uh, I need a partner for you. How about this lady with a... What's that on your head there? Whoa! <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, yes, 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 yes! Oh, my God! This money's for you, Wayne. Okay. Here we go, Wayne. Okay. Somebody hold him. He's fainting already. Okay. Bob Hilton's joking, Turn but that sailor is go, going Wayne. to faint. There is... No, no. $2,000! <laughs> Here's an unplanned moment from Dick's new game show, The Challengers. I'll try license plates. All right, look to the screen and tell me in what state your car is registered if your license plate looks like this. Cue the wall. Looks like a tough game, Dick. What state? That's pretty strange. It's I think we gave you the answer. <laughs> Buried in Grant's tomb. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Channel Mart Marty. We'll be right back for game two. Oh. Oh.